How was summer? What did you do in the summer? Play with my kids. That's about it. Physically, how are you feeling after kind of being limited during the spring? I'm good. I'm good. What's this day like for you starting the new training camp with a new team? Uh, football as usual, work as usual, you know. Just being back with everybody. My day the same as everybody else's. It ain't nothing special to it. You, you expect to go full go during training camp? Yeah, I'm sure I will. I'm sure we'll have a good plan for me. Jalen, uh, this team has heightened expectations. You've dealt with that in Jacksonville after you guys went to AFC Championship. You've dealt with that in LA. How has this team handled this from what you've observed so far? It's just day one of training camp. We, we got to do the work first. The work comes first. When you put the work in, you don't really worry about none of that. You know, you don't really worry about what other people say. You know what you have done to prepare, and you just stand on that. And whether it work out for you or not, you you know if you put the work in. In June, you were telling us that um, people's expectations, you could use it as motivation, positive or negative, if they believe in you or if they don't believe in you. Um, are you seeing any evidence of that? Did you see evidence of that from this team in OTAs or, or minicamp that, that they're aware of the heightened expectations? Yeah, maybe. But work comes first. We just got to focus on the work right now. And then everything will fall in place how it, how it needs to. Jalen, acclimating to the weather, I mean, it seems a little hotter out there, but how you guys are um, managing yourselves, um, just trying to stay physically fit, uh, trying to stay hydrated and things like that. It's just our job, man. You know, we can't, we can't never control the weather. So we just go do our job, work through it. It's all good. It's hot for everybody, so. How's, it, how's this compared to Jacksonville? I don't know, man. I ain't been to Jacksonville in a while. I ain't really worried about that either, to be honest with you. I'm worried about right here in the present. So I ain't going to compare or nothing to uh, any other team that I've been on, honestly. Like, we just, just got to work. Yeah, I'm coming to the weather. I'm sorry. The weather? Yeah. I don't remember. I ain't been there in a while. When you look at the defense, what makes you like most optimistic? What are you most looking forward to with this defense and the pieces you have? Uh, the whole, the whole defense, really. Like I've been a part of this defense for the past three years, so um, I kind of know how to play it. I know what's needed to play this defense um, and be one of the best defenses in the league and be elite. And we got all the pieces, you know, edge rushes, the secondary. Then we got the, you know, we even got the linebackers and all that. So um, I look at, like I said, I don't compare, but I look at the other teams I've been a part of, and um, I feel like we, on paper, we stack up well. But the work comes first. With your experience and knowledge of this defense, do you kind of feel a responsibility to be almost like a coach on the field for the rest of the guys that maybe are new in the system? Yeah, um, I don't like force it though. If they, you know, if they need my um, help or guidance, or if I see something that can help them or guide them, then I'll give them my input. But everybody can kind of figure it out their own, and people like figuring things out on their own, and that's what uh, OTAs was for, and that's what training camps for to kind of figure some things out. You can't like micromanage or baby grown men through stuff. Like, we're going we gonna to get it. We're going to put the work in. In your experience, what separates the, the truly elite great defenses from the average or so-so defenses? Uh, I mean, you got to have the pieces. That's, of course, right? You got to have the talent, and which, I, which I believe we have. But then you got to, like, I just keep saying it. We got to put the work in. Like, it's, a, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy amount of work that we got to put in. Um, but it'll, it'll all pay off. And then we just got to, we got to play as one. We got to, like, have a unity as a defense and as a team. So those are all things that we'll, we'll for sure work, work on during this training camp. One of your former Florida State students just happens to be a free agent. He's flirted with Miami, saw on social media, Dalvin Cook. What do you think adding Dalvin Cook to this team would, would do for this offense? Uh, any of my friends. I, I, I always want to play on the same team as any of my friends uh, or any elite player, but um, that ain't none of my business, to be honest with you. I'm here with, with these guys that are here currently. Um, if we add DC4, I'll be happy. I, I promise you I will. And I'll come up here and I, I might give you a longer a little speech about it. But right now, I'm focusing on uh, myself and my teammates who are in the building right now. We're going to get after it. Jalen, you and Tyreek have kind of been somewhere where this team hasn't gone, um, be it the Super Bowl. Uh, how does that experience kind of help you in training camp to kind of maybe fine tune things or offer advice or, or insight to, to some of your teammates? 
Uh, I mean, it, it, a lot of it will be uh, like and still right here in training camp, and we'll start doing a lot of things. But it don't, it don't end right here. You know what I'm saying? We gotta continue being leaders throughout the year and helping our teammates throughout the year, because um, there will be adversities throughout this training camp, throughout the season that we'll have to overcome and help those guys overcome and um, kind of realize the big picture and always have that goal in our mind of what we're striving for as a team. But um, other than that, man, just every day, just every day working and every day helping guys as much as we can. But just working, man, being present and working. Jalen, you were uh, the highest rated uh, corner at Madden. I think it's the fifth time it happened in your career. I know it's just a video game, but where do you kind of see your respect as the top or one of the top corners in the game at the this top. stage? Um, yeah, about right. But, you know. Like I, I don't, I'm never one to like, like I don't care if I was a 70 on Madden. Like I'ma still play the game. I'ma still edit myself to 99 anyway. Like I don't really care. Like that don't really matter to me. But um, it's more so about like being on the video game. Like that's a blessing. Like as kids, I was playing Xbox and PlayStation. And being on a video game, and now I don't necessarily have to create myself. I got to edit myself a little bit, but I ain't necessarily got to create myself. So. Um, it's like it's a blessing. Like I don't take that for granted. Like oh, they gave me this rating or that rating. Like it's a blessing to me, regardless. It's cool. So what do you think? Ninety nine, everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Ninety nine, everything. You always hear the statement, "Iron sharpens iron." How much do you look forward to those one on one battles with Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill, you and X? Yeah, I look forward to it a lot. Jalen, a minute ago when when Cam said one of the top corners, you corrected him. You said the top. Yeah. How important is that to you to be the top? Um, well, I have been for many years in my career, so uh, it's very important to me. Um, and you know, uh, I think people get people get things confused sometimes when um, when guys show like a individual like goal for themselves or an individual have an individual hype for themselves. But honestly, it's like. Why wouldn't I, right? Why wouldn't I want to be the, the very best? And me being the very best um, is going to also help the team be successful. So, yeah, I'm always going to strive to be the best. And I got other guys in the secondary who should be doing the same thing and probably are doing the same thing. You ask X, he, I, I hope X would say he the best corner, you know? Um, you ask the safeties, I hope they'll say they the best. If you ask if you ask me honestly, I'm going to say I'm the best DB in, in, in the league, the best DB in this in this secondary, all of that. And I'm going to challenge those guys to push me and make me prove it, right? And I'm going to challenge them to do the same. So you got to have that pride about yourself, especially playing in this position. Like You got to have that ultra confidence in yourself or you're going to be, it's going to be over with for you. So um, yeah, I'm always, you know, have pride in what I do. Jalen, just kind of on that same topic, Earlier this offseason, there were some of the younger corners like Sauce and some other guys debating that topic, best corner and whatnot. How do you maybe see some of these younger corners coming up and how you compare to your longevity and consistency? Uh, to be honest with you, I, don't, I never compare myself to them um, just because we all are own individuals. Um, and like there's like this running thing that DBs hate, hate on each other. And I, I actually don't think that's true, to be honest with you. Like it's a competitive fire where every each individual should think that they're the best, but uh, you can ask, honestly, I challenge y'all to ask any of them, like any any young DB that has, that's hit me up, Sauce, Pat, like literally anybody, like I'm always sharing my knowledge with them. I'm always um, giving them positive words, showing them some love, like I, I'm not never tripping about that. Like what they do doesn't control like my career. It don't control what I do. It don't control um, my legacy or anything like that. I got to do what I do. So, um, I don't really, yeah, to answer your question, I just don't compare myself to them. I wish them luck unless they play in us, right? But I got to do what I do regardless. Like, it don't don't really matter to me. I, you know, I hope all of them do their thing, to be honest with you. Who is that, who is that guy? A question about the current NFL. It seems like um, at this point of the season, teams put more emphasis on joint practices than preseason games uh, to get work for veterans, experienced players like yourself. I'm wondering what are your thoughts on that? Do you, does, is a joint practice more beneficial to a veteran player than a preseason game? Uh, I let the coaches handle all the logistics stuff like that. I just go out there and play whenever I got to play. I don't care where we at. I don't care if we 
in the off season and joint practice and preseason and the regular season playoffs, it don't matter. I'm gonna play regardless. But I'm sure there's benefits. I'm, there's pros and cons of everything, right? And I'm sure there's some benefits of uh, being able to have joint practices and uh, get certain situational work in, and uh, at certain times that you you know might not be able to get during a game just because the game has so many you know uh, highs and lows that go on and uh, you know unpredictable things. So I'm sure there's benefits to it. Thank y'all.